Hello, first years. I am so happy to see you today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, today, I am going to be teaching you about putting your left hand in first position. First position is when your hand is down on the violin so you can play with your fingers. That's called first position. Now, as you might imagine, there's a whole set of steps to work on first position. And so what you'll need for this video today are your violin and your shoulder rest or sponge and also a ballpoint pen. We are going to be using the pen to draw on our hand. We're going to draw the magic X's. So you might want to ask your adult for help with that. And we also will be using the pen for an exercise. So I would ask you to please pause this video while you get your violin ready with your shoulder rest or sponge and also go get yourself a ballpoint pen and maybe your adult. I'll wait. Okay, great. So first, I'd like you to start with the pen because we're going to talk about the magic X's. The magic X's are where we touch the violin with our left hand. So it's the same hand you've been doing for umbrella position uh, and for violin workout and all of that. It's your left hand. Um, and again, if you're not sure which hand is your left hand, ask your adult. And what I'd like you to do is take your ballpoint pen and we are going to draw the magic X's on our left hand. Okay, so the first magic X is going to go on the side of your first finger right at the joint where the first finger is attached to your hand. Okay, that's the first magic X. And then the second magic X is on the inside of your thumb right at the joint where it kind of bends. Okay, so you want your magic X's to be, they don't have to be exactly across from each other. You can see how they're kind of in a line across from each other in the V of my hand, okay? So go ahead and draw on your magic X's. And again, if you need to pause the video, feel free and then come back once your magic X's are drawn on your hand. All right, you got your magic X's ready to go? So the first thing I want you to do is close your ballpoint pen so you don't actually accidentally draw on other places. And I want you to just practice, pretend for a moment that your pen is the neck of the violin. And I want you to touch it only with your magic X's. Notice that there still is like a little tiny rabbit hole, okay? And I want you to just slide your hand up and down the pen, touching on the magic X's. Now it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. If you slide up and down a little bit on the magic X's, that's okay. But the idea is that that is where you are touching, but you are not pinching the pen. You are not holding the pen with your magic X's. You are just lightly touching, okay? All right, now, if you would please get your violin and I'd like for you to sit down on the floor, crisscross applesauce, okay? So you sit down, crisscross applesauce, and on your lap, I want you to hold the violin so that it's propped up on your leg. And you're gonna take your right hand, your bow hand, and you're gonna grab the, the uh, fingerboard, okay? You can also, if you prefer, grab the rib, all right? And then your left hand, is free. You see those magic X's? Great. All right, so take a look. You see how my strings are facing the camera? So they're not facing my face like this, but they're facing away from me. And the back of the violin is touching my belly. So I want your violin to be like that too. Make sure the back of your violin is touching your belly and the strings are facing away. Now, I'm gonna find the magic X on my first finger and I'm going to just touch the side of the neck just like this and gently just slide my hand up and down. Now, I have to tell you that on the violin, up is toward the violin or toward the bridge. Down is toward the scroll. So as you're doing this, I'd like you to say up, down, up toward the
under the bridge and down toward the scroll. Up toward the bridge and down toward the scroll. Now, once you feel pr pretty comfortable sliding your first finger magic X up and down, you can add your thumb magic X. So your hand should look like this, okay? Notice that my first finger is very tall and my thumb is very short. If your hand is looking something like this or something like this, something is wrong. If you were doing this correctly, you should be touching the violin at those two spots, but there still should be like a nice big space in the V. There we go, now you can see, in the V of your hand. We call that the rabbit hole. And we wanna make sure to leave the rabbit hole open so that the pretend little bunnies who live underground here can hop out of the rabbit hole and get the carrots for their little bunny babies. Otherwise their bunny babies will be very hungry, okay? So you always wanna have a rabbit hole. We never want to be touching inside there. Plus you can see if I'm touching inside the V, I'm not touching on my magic X's, okay? So again, you might wanna have your adult help you with this. Touch one side of the violin with your magic X and then the other side with your other magic X and just gently slide up towards the bridge and down towards the scroll. Up towards the bridge and down toward the scroll. I am moving my whole arm from the elbow. I am not waving my hand from the wrist. I am moving my arm like that, okay? Now, we call this motion elevators, right? And I bet all of you have ridden in an elevator. So the elevator goes up and it's very nice and smooth and it goes down. So we can go up to umbrella position and down to first position. Up to umbrella position and down to first position. Now, at this point, we've been working pretty hard and I think it's time for a small break. Would you please gently put your violin down in a safe place, come back and stand up and we're gonna stretch and breathe, okay? So first, stretch your arms way up high and then stretch over to the side and stretch over to the other side and do a nice big arm circle backwards and let's do another one taking nice deep breaths and now the other way and be a turtle and be a giraffe and be a turtle and be a giraffe. Good, okay. Now, if you need a little bit longer break, feel free to pause the video. Otherwise, go ahead and get your violin and I would like for you to stand in rest position. So I have my violin here and here I am in rest position. And as always, your hand should be in umbrella position. So you will start with your hand in umbrella position and we are going to put our violins up the same as always through our violin workout. So make sure you've got a really nice umbrella position hold that you're touching on the shoulder. Pat the shoulder and grab. Your thumb is tucked around. Take a nice breath. <sighs> Great, okay, step out to part one and now turn the violin upside down for part two. Now button on your neck for part three and you're gonna drop your hand down for part four, okay? So here you are in part four and you can hold up your left hand and see your magic X's. You are going to put your magic X's on either side of the neck of the violin. Again, check that you have a nice rabbit hole. My rabbit hole is big enough for my finger to go through. And I want you to do elevators. Slide up to the shoulder and back down. Notice that my wrist is flat and I am opening and closing from my elbow. Slide up to the shoulder, down to first position. Up to the shoulder, down to first position. Let's do two more. Up and down. Last one, up and down. Great job. Go back up to umbrella position. So remember, umbrella position, your hand is on the shoulder and your fingers are over the fingerboard. And you will go back through part two. 
part one, and into rest position. Woo! Let's take a bow. Great work, everyone. Awesome, awesome job. So I want you to really practice your elevators and your magic X's and getting to first position. Now you may be wondering, Miss Carol, why are these called magic X's? And the answer is, they are always on your hand, even when you can't see them. So of course, ballpoint pen washes off pretty quickly. It might even wash off the first time you wash your hands, okay? And you can draw on the magic X's as often as you need them. But guess what? No matter whether you have the magic X's drawn on with pen or not, that is always where you will touch the violin to do your elevators and to play in first position, okay? So, again, anytime you need, you can draw on the magic X's or you can ask your adult to draw on the magic X's. Um, but as time passes, I'd like you to also try practicing your elevators in rest position or guitar position and also in playing position without them drawn on. They are still there. They're just invisible. And that's what makes them magic. All right, my friends, we are gonna try our elevators one more time. We're gonna do 10 elevators. So take a nice deep breath. Okay, are you ready? All right, so we step out to part one. Violin upside down for part two. Button on your neck for part three and drop your hand down for part four. Go ahead and find your magic X's. Make sure you have a nice rabbit hole, lots of space in the V of your hand. And we're gonna do 10 elevators. So a whole elevator is up and then down. Ready, go. Up and down, one. Up and down, two. Up and down, three. Up and down, four. Up and down. Five, up, take a break anytime you need. Six, up and down. Seven, up and down. Eight, up and down. Nine, last one, and down. Ten, all right, great job. Go all the way back to umbrella position and come down through part two, part one, and back together for rest position. Don't forget your rest position feet. Take a nice bow, take a nice breath, stretch out your back. Woo, we worked hard today. Great work, everybody. So feel free, of course, to talk about this in your lesson with your teacher uh, next week. Uh, and I know that some of you may already um, be a little bit farther than this, but um, please make sure that everybody is working on your magic X's, your rabbit hole, that you have a nice flat wrist, okay? We never want to touch the violin like this, by the way, friends and adults, especially if you can watch for this. We call this the pizza hand because it looks like somebody serving a pizza. No, I love pizza, but I don't eat pizza when I'm playing the violin, right? So I want to make sure that we don't have any pizza hands. We don't push the wrist backwards either. We call that the cobra hand because it looks like a, a cobra snake. We don't like snakes while we're playing the violin either. So no pizza hands, no cobra hands. We want our wrist to just be nice and flat. So not like this, not like that, just nice and flat. And we do our elevators by moving back and forth from our elbow. As always, please put the violin up and take the violin down through all of the positions of violin workout. That's all for today. Next week, uh, excuse me, in two weeks, uh, for your next video, I will show you how to start using some fingers. And we'll talk about our first song in first position. Thanks so much for watching and happy practicing.